morning thank you for joining me for the unboxing and review of my XK X260 drone quadcopter now the reason I got this quadcopter is because it is a mini version of my XK X380 so very impressed with this now it comes in a nice good box, quite good, quite solid, handle for portability. Now a very important thing with this quad is that it doesn't work on 2.4 gigahertz but it works on 5.8 gigahertz transmission. So between the TX and the quad, so this should help improve reliability and range you get a version with a camera you also get an FPV version but this is the basic uh, version and it comes in this nicely packed box now I like the fact that the manufacturers are beginning to produce packaging where the quadcopter is almost fully assembled and can be stored with the props on okay in this case not the prop guards but, and the transmitter so compact space wires so this can be used to transport it conveniently so very pleased to see that okay so I'm just going to unpack here quickly transmitter okay so we get four spare propellers always good to have spare propellers so two red ones two black ones okay good to have and then underneath here we've got a little bag take out out of the way okay so this has got the prop guards and a screwdriver and some screws in okay we'll get the box out of the way here we go okay so basically you know we get the quadcopter we get the radio transmitter TX controller whatever you like to call it we get an instruction manual now this instruction manual actually leaves a little bit to be desired it's not really in a good uh, quality paper uh, some of it is descriptive and nice and good um, but it's not really that informative um, and yes it's a bit confusing when it starts trying and the English it uses about CF mode and everything no um, we have an exploding view of the quad but you know then again no nothing about how to assemble it so it's pretty basic uh, and that's a little bit disappointing okay uh, we also get a battery charger and very thoughtful uh, gear best without me asking sent to UK adapter so always good to have okay so I'm going to just unpack these and I'll get back to you shortly back again so let's have a closer look at this mini version of an X uh, U80 okay so if we have a look little can be a little bit confusing um, but the rear is where we have this rear indicator light and the front of the quad is where the battery bay is so we have the red props in the front and the black props at the back now this looks as though it's made of carbon fiber it really has a nice finish to it I do like the shape and the style and the design of this and 
it's a little bit flexible but quite strong so this should be quite durable because it's actually very light um, yeah we've got the battery inside let's just weigh it and have a quick look okay so without the prop guards on okay so it comes in at, at only 113 grams so quite light so, and it looks as though it can carry a load I know you know it can carry there is a camera version so it can carry a camera it should be able to carry a Mobius I might even try that but yes very good now the landing gear comes already attached which is good and as I showed you earlier it can actually fit in the box of the landing gear so you don't have to remove the landing gear or anything like that and you can transport it with the landing gear on and the uh, props on now if you want to put on the prop guards um, it clips onto the uh, motor housing with this little circle here and then there's three little bumps if you want to call it that with holes in and you get a bag of screws three screws to put on the prop guards now these prop guards actually don't seem very strong and that but yes if you want to fly with the prop guards that's how you put the prop guards on okay now we have a look at the propellers now the propellers are quite flexible not too flexible they're sort of still quite strong but they're not rigid so they are going to be able to absorb knocks and I don't think they're going to break too easily so that's a good thing but we have got spare propellers if spare propellers are needed now if you need to replace a propeller just show you here there's a screw in the shaft here that you remove so as you can see this one I've nearly got out completely obviously try not to lose the screw and the propeller comes off like that now one thing I really like about this quad, we try and spin these props, they actually spin quite easily. And the reason for that is that instead of bushes, it's actually got bearings. Now this is a very good thing because it helps the motor move more freely so it assists uh, with the motors free movement so it reduces friction reduces heating so I'm very impressed to see a toy quad you know of this grade with bearings okay then the motors are vertically housed here now this quite a bit of open area on the motors here but if we have a closer look at the housing there's not much allowing it to cool so there could be an issue uh, with motors overheating but hopefully you know this is sufficient here to, to keep the motors cool but if not uh, one could uh, maybe drill a few holes in, into the housing um, on, on this side to provide more cooling okay so very pleased that it has bearings good style good quality good shape okay now if we have a look under the quad over here we've got the bottom LEDs in clear plastic so three LEDs so this should be quite bright and especially at night so I think we'll get a night flight in and see how bright this is at night too now over here 
there are four ports okay a two pin port three pin port four pin port and another four pin port now the instruction manual tells you absolutely nothing about what these ports are for but I probably if with the camera version it'll have it in there so I don't really know but obviously this is to one of these is plug in a camera there may be different camera versions with different connections for the camera but that is a, that on there um, the rear indicator light we'll see how bright that is when we fly it okay just normal gears but you know quite fine gears and seems to be quite well mounted and, and synchronized there then we have the um, battery bay so this clips open here then the battery inside so ooh, this is a little bit tight okay coming out okay uh, now the battery we get with this is a 3.7 volt 780 uh, mAh okay so quite an unusual size for a battery then it has a normal JST connection so you know this fairly good a common connection with a lot of other RC and yeah the battery actually fits in here quite tightly you know, it, it snags a bit to get it out as well so there is space if you can see in here there's two little struts that can possibly be removed uh, to fit a bigger battery in so there is quite a bit of space for a bigger battery but you should get about 10 to 12 minutes of flying time on the stock battery which is pretty good for a small craft like this so let's just put the battery back in there now okay now this quad has some special features okay <laughs> Now, first of all, with it being 5.8 gigahertz, um, it's got a good range. Um, it says the range is in excess of 300 meters, so that's quite good. And something I'll do when I go out to, uh, I'll do a range test when I go out to the range that I, I test on. And it's also got a high precision air pressure needle so this should help it maintain altitude okay so that's something we'll also test and see uh, how it works and how well it works if it works okay and it's got a fail safe function and it should auto land okay when it when control is lost so that is also something we'll, we'll have have a look at okay when we take it out to fly hey okay, so that's the quad now let's have a look at the TX um, I put batteries in already so to put batteries in slide it down it takes six AA batteries that you need to supply and put in yourself clip in here this little open switch is don't worry too much about this this is to open when the transmitter is open I'm starting to see this more on uh, transmitters nowadays so yes let's switch it on now it hasn't got a bad feel to it but it doesn't feel too sort of comfortable in my hands at any rate um, that now it's got a very nice LED display 
you know, okay, it looks a bit like a ladybug, okay, but it tells you which channel you're on, your uh, percentage um, acceleration or throttle. The three buttons over here are for speed, 40%, 60%, 80%. And then the top button here is for 100%. Now, it's actually nice to have have this over here and also have it positioned here. The This button over here is for the camera version, so we don't have to worry about it with this version. And this is the roll button, so press and then you can do your flips and rolls. This button over here switches the uh, quad uh, uh, the lights of the quad on or off and then this button you press uh, for two seconds uh, to go into headless mode so as far as functionality goes you know it's pretty good having these fairly close and over here you still probably got to look down to see what you're doing um, okay and then we have our trim buttons this is for crab trim this is for direction trim this is for speed trim, uh, this is forward and backward trim. So we've got a little bright LED there. Uh, the antenna seems as though it's a genuine antenna, uh, probably not for show, but I haven't had a look inside to see exactly, but this should have a good antenna inside to get the range in excess of 300 meters. Uh, let's just have a look here. Let's just connect up the quad. So to connect it up, there's no on and off switch, so just need to connect the battery, put it in, get the wires in there, and clip this back on. So that's fairly quick and easy. As you can see, the LEDs look really nice and look really bright. Okay, so let's see. Switch the transmitter off. There, switch the transmitter on. Wait for it to bind with the quad. Okay, so it binds automatically, but it looks as though the quad has to be on first, then you turn on the transmitter. Now you can calibrate the, uh, this is a, 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 a six axis gyro, so good for stability and performance. And you can calibrate the X and Y axis. So to calibrate the X and Y axis, you press this, the 40% button, hold it down for two seconds. You can see the lights start flashing. And then we wait for the lights to stop flashing. Okay, uh, that's the x-axis calibrated. Then to calibrate the y-axis, we press the 60% button for two seconds. And the lights start flashing. Okay, so the x-axis is for um, your sideways movements uh, or horizontal movements. And the uh, y-axis is for vertical movements. So that's it all balanced. Okay, so... Yes, we have a look, you know, this is a very impressive mini quad, very good value, I mean only £30 or $38 or 35 euros, you know, so, you know, this is very good value for the price, it's on special offer, I'll put a link in the description, um, because I think there's a limited quantity left uh, on special offer. Uh, really for the price and what you get uh, and that so yeah now we'll take it out and do some flight tests so stay tuned and we'll see you in the field <laughs> 